Hello, my friends! Now, you can probably see that my shirt has birds on it. That's one hint of what we'll be doing today. Now, today I'm going to show you how to make bird feeders. So, I'm going to start off with showing you what materials we will be needing today. We are going to need a pot with a quarter cup of water, very hot water, so be careful. We are also going to need a pack of gelatin, not gelatin. <laughs> One fourth a measuring cup. Now, I have half a cup because I could have buy my one fourth a cup, but I just have to fill half of this, so I'm good. A spoon, a bird seed mix for the birds. So I made this seed mix myself for the birds. I used it with sunflower seeds. I used flax seeds, and I put some grains in, and I put millet. However many bird seeders you're going to make, you're going to need one string for each of them. And they each should have a loop so you can hang them up. I am making two bird feeders and I am using two cookie cutters. This one is a butterfly, this one is a flower. So if you don't have any cookie cutters like these, then you could use like just random stuff like a toy. Like a circle toy cutter or a duct tape cutter. Don't be afraid if you're using maybe like duct tape, you're not gonna feed them to your birds. And last but not least, wax paper. And I'll tell you how you're going to need that in a moment. So first, you're going to take your super hot pot and you're going to Take this, rip this open, the gelatin, and you're going to put it inside. Then you're going to mix it around like this until it dissolves. I am making these bird feeders because before I moved into this house, there were there were bird houses that I did not put there and inside one of them was a bird nest. So I'm hoping to maybe bring the birds back into the nest by lowering them into the house by putting some treats inside and maybe they will hopefully, hopefully, will come back. And I think it's a good plan. So please, tell me why you're making a bird feeder by the comments below. But we're not done yet. Okay, so now that my thing is dissolved, I'm going to take my seeds and grains and I'm going to fill this And I'm just going to dump it in. What you put in is three quarters of cup. And you're also going to stir that too. I'm making oatmeal for the birds. Yummy green and seed oatmeal. Hmm, that gives me an idea. I wonder if I could put oatmeal in here. Please let me know if you can and so maybe I'll do that next time. Only if you put a comment. So, I think it's stored well enough. It's kind of in here, all sticky. I'm going to take my wax paper. I'm going to cut a sheet of it. Just going to move this to the side. So I'm putting this here and I'm putting my cookie cutters here. 
Now I'm going to put some of my mixture inside these cookie cutters. I'm going to start with one first just to make sure I have a nut. And if it's too sticky, use your fingers. So I'm just going to pack my seed and grains inside. Then I'm going to try and keep filling in some holes like this. Just going to pack it in. Use your fingers to really pack it in. Even if your hands are already sticky. Yeah. Okay. Now take your string and where the knot is, put it inside your ball feeder. Make sure there's room outside so you can hang your ball feeder around the tree. And you're going to take more of your mixture and pack it in. More, 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 more. Oh, my hands are really getting sticky. Okay, so I'm kind of running out. So it looks like I might, this might be a mixture just for one, but it depends on how big your cookie cutter is mine is about maybe i don't know maybe like oh i don't know well yeah so i only, it looks like i only have maybe just enough for one cookie cutter and so i'm just going to keep packing it nice and tight like you're tucking in a child <laughs> under covers Okay, so I think that should do it. I got... Here, buddy, buddies! Come and eat me! I'm going to go to... the bathroom! <laughs> to wash my hands. Be right back! Okay, I'm back from... I wish I didn't have to say bathroom. Now that I'm done washing my hands, I just have to let this sit here for a day, like overnight. Sad, but you gotta wait. And so I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. 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 Bye. <laughs>So I let this dry overnight, and now it's it's hard, but not too hard for the birds not to get it. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to push this out by from the back. I'm going to push it out. But okay, there we go. This is the bird feeder. Doesn't really look so cute. It's a little butterfly. But poor thing, it's gonna have to get eaten of my birds. Oh well, at least the birds will have a free meal. So now the last step is to put it outside. Let's go. Okay, I'm in my backyard and now I'm gonna hang it on this pretty branch. So I'm just going to put it right here. But I think it will be fine. Just so at least it won't fall down. So I'm just going to leave it here and wait for the bird. So I hope you enjoyed this very easy bird feeding recipe. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. We're going to need one pack of delicious gelatin. Gelatin? We will also need a pack of Gelatin. <laughs> gelatin. 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 Not gelatin, because I keep saying gelatin. But not gelatin. 